gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, during the past few years, Great Britain has produced very fine young film directors. Uh, men like Christopher Borman and John Myers have already made their mark. But with me in the studio now is perhaps the most brilliant of our up-and-coming young directors, Mr. Freddie Scuttle. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Scuttle. Good evening, viewers and cinema goers. Mr. Scuttle, <laughs> you are described as the most brilliant of our young directors. Yeah, yeah, I'm 23, sir. <laughs> you look considerably older. I worry a lot. <laughs> Well, Mr. Scuttle, you've been quoted as saying that the current crop of British films falls roughly into two different categories. Two categories, yes. Yes, on the one hand, there are the way out films, yes. and on the other, the with it films. Yes. Two categories, sir, yes. Well, what's the difference? That's what I say, sir. Who cares? <laughs> no, Mr. Scuttle, let me put it another way. Put it whichever way you like, sir. It's entirely up to you, sir. Well, <laughs> take, uh, take your latest film, Mr. Scuttle. Yes. Would you say that was a way out film or a with it film? A way out film, sir. And that is not just my opinion, sir. That is the opinion of the cricket, sir. They come to the press show the second it was on the screen, sir. Way out, they said. Where's the way out? <laughs> they knew, you see, sir. Well, take the current crop of spy films, yes. like the James Bond series. James Bond, yes. Well, now, would you say James Bond was way out? Oh, no, sir, no, no. Well, some of them well-rounded actresses he works with, sir. That, that might be described as being way out, sir. <laughs> you see my point, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so you'd say James Bond was with it? I should think he's never without it. <laughs> Not that I'm jealous, sir. <laughs> just, just envious, that's all. <laughs> Well, Mr. Scuttle, tell us a little bit about your latest film. Ah, uh, it's what we in the trade, sir, call a novel vague film, you see. A novel vague film? It's based on a vague novel. <laughs> uh, it's called The Knock, sir. And it won the Film Festival Prize, sir. But The Knack has already been made. That won the Cannes Film Festival Prize. Oh, I don't know about that, sir. We, we won the Film Festival Prize, sir. Yes, yes. What, at Cannes? No, Chipping Sodbury, sir. <laughs> And we had a lovely festival, so all the, all the big, all the big continental directors were invited, Sir Truffles was invited, sir. Uh, fell in it. Ingmar Bergman. Her as well, yes. And the Italian one, Anthony Hunnion, was invited, sir. Anthony Hunnion? Yeah, Anthony... <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Scuttle, you mean Antonioni. Yeah, uh, Antonioni, yes, yes. I was going to write to him myself, it was a little bit difficult, you know. Yes, I think I know what it is. You can't spell Antonioni. I can spell it, sir, I just don't know when to stop. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Scuttle, who's yes. starring in your latest picture? My latest discovery, sir, mean, moody, magnificent Mervyn Twitt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember from your latest press handout, yes. Arthur Gardner describing him as tall, dark and handsome. Yes. Well, either that, sir, or tall and in the dark handsome. <laughs> I'm not too sure, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, viewers will be able to judge for themselves yes. because we're now going to show you a short excerpt from Mr. Scuttle's latest film, The Knock. <laughs> 